Hey everybody, it's Uncle Doug coming to you again from one of the ministry houses here with Fellowship of the Martyrs. And I'm uh, adjusting the camera a little bit here. I, um, it's been a lot of warfare lately. A lot of warfare. It's been really tough. And it seems to be something that's happening all over because I'm hearing it from people from all over. And, uh, got several videos, uh, in the can or at least in my head that we need to do for you here shortly but um well, let me close this uh window here it's distracting me there you go um uh, i want to i want to do a, a little quick video on spiritual warfare and i want to remind you that the bible says that our battles not against flesh and blood, but powers and principalities, and spiritual wickedness in high places. And what the enemy does is mess with the people close to you, so that they'll mess with you, so that you'll be mad at them, at the person, and then you will grieve the Holy Spirit because you lose your peace. You get angry, full of unforgiveness, resentment, hurts, or whatever. The spirit of offense comes in. Then you're angry at that person. You have disobeyed the command to love like Christ loves you. You disobey the command to rejoice in all things. The enemy wins. They brought division in relationships. They got you to sin. They use the other person's mouth to cause offense. And uh, so that person sinned. And all along, they got you angry at the person. Instead of slowing down, realizing that, that uh, the spiritual wickedness that's messing with them is trying to get to you, pray it off of them, love them, and everybody's free. They are... They are always aiming for a win-win-win for them. That is, they'll attack that other person. That other person attacks you. You attack that person. The demon wins. Uh, and because then the demon attacks you, too. How dare they talk to me that way? Who are they to say these kind of things to me? Don't they know blah, 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 whatever? It's playing to your pride, playing to your unforgiveness, your resentment, building a spirit of offense, causes damage in relationship, stresses you out, stresses the other person out. And then they probably whisper something like, you know, God's rejected you for acting like this. How could God ever love you if you're so wicked? And, you know, whatever convince you to pass judgment on that other person because they had a weak moment where the devil got to them whispered through them and messed with you I'm hoping you can see this I'm hoping you can understand this the Bible is clear our battle is not against flesh and blood so it's not against flesh and blood so our battle does not be, need to happen with our tongues attacking that other person. And certainly not physically. And certainly not, you know, strapping on a bomb and getting on a bus. That's, that's exactly the wrong kind of way to do spiritual warfare. Those aren't martyrs. Those are murderers. Uh, what, what God calls us to... is to try not to engage, to see the demon on them, to pray the demon off of them, and love them throughout. And rejoice. The model that we have is Christ on the cross, taking on the sins of the world,
asking the Lord to forgive them, they don't know what they're doing. Now, was he talking about two or three Roman guards standing the cross up or trying to give him some sour wine? Or was he talking about the whole crowd there that was yelling at him? Was he talking about his mother who was weeping because she must have heard wrong about this being the Messiah because he's about to be killed and her faith is, is deroding? Was he talking about Peter who just denied him? Was he talking about all of us that are so quick to deny him when it's convenient? I think he was, I think none of us know what we're doing. And I think we're all stupid ants and I think his prayer was to forgive us. Because none of us know what we're doing. So I'm asking you. It's likely that this week there's been a lot of stress in relationships. In your home, in your life, in your work, in your family, and whatever. And it's likely that there's somebody that the enemy is really using to get under your skin. And, and, and that there's some unforgiveness and resentment and frustration and stress building up. And I'm telling you, this week, I've had to remember and repeat repeatedly, our battle's not against flesh and blood. Our battle's not against flesh and blood. so that I remember to focus on the spirits that are behind it and pray for that person that's coming at me so that they would be free so that they wouldn't be used like that and for me to try really hard not to engage it and make it worse and honestly Our enemy is uh, very sneaky, very determined, and there's days he gets past me. And I respond in the flesh, or I get tacky, or short with somebody, or frustrated, or whatever. And, uh... I'm not, I'm not saying this out of some sense of uh, perfection as if I've arrived. Um, I say it more like Paul, that I know the right thing to do, but uh, the flesh still resists it, and I find myself doing what I know not to do and having to repent afterward to confess my sin and turn from it. But when we stop ourselves and ask for the strength, he's faithful and just to give us what we need uh, to get through it. So I pray that you would just slow down. The enemy always wants to speed everything up. Conversation is going faster, faster. Till that train has left the station going 100 miles an hour and it's real hard to stop it then. You know, you're in full-blown panic attack. You're seeing red. You just hit the gas and run your husband over. <laughs> but if you realize, God never is going to say, okay, now's the time to panic. <laughs> He's probably going to say something like, shut up, slow down, leave him to me. I got this, I'll take care of it, don't say that, uh, or something else. So it's helpful when I remember that my dad makes time. And if a decision uh, takes a little longer to decide what to do, that's okay. He'll make more time. But what I don't want to do is knee-jerk. 
make a decision out of the flesh, respond to somebody just out of the flesh instead of trying to be careful, trying to take it slow, trying to listen to the Lord. Excuse me. And uh, respond appropriately. Anyway, I want to keep this short. God bless you. This is just the word for today. Is uh, remember that we're not fighting people. We're fighting spirits. And uh, try to treat that person that's coming at you like a POW. That's trapped under layers and layers of badness. Get the badness off. You may find a completely different person under there. And, uh, or maybe it's you that needs to get free of the stuff that's using your, your mood, your attitude, your tone, or whatever to mess with the people around you. Anyway, thanks for listening. God bless you all. May he free us all of the stuff that got on us, wherever it came from and however it got there. That we can humble ourselves, realize that we're the Lance. And then we need him more than anything else. In the name of Jesus. Amen.